hello today I'm going to be talking about hobbies and different hobbies that you could possibly have as a mother as a stay-at-home mom or a homeschool mom you can easily fill your day with everything that you need to do there is always something that needs to be done always someone that needs you you definitely don't have downtime really um, if you're doing everything you need to do obviously we can't live constantly on the go all the time just like a machine we need some time to enjoy too and while as a stay-at-home mom or homeschool mom i actually do enjoy taking care of my family i enjoy keeping the house up and i don't really like cooking but i do enjoy providing food for my family especially when they like the food if that makes any sense um I like don't necessarily love the process, but I love the end result, you know, kind of thing. Uh, and I enjoy homeschooling for the most part. I mean, I have my days where I'm like, no, but for the most part, like I do enjoy those things. But I do think sometimes it is nice to have something that is kind of just your thing. The thing that maybe you will do even once they all leave the house. Um, just something that you enjoy that you can do by yourself and will continue because one day they will grow up and leave us and that makes me sad. And I found hobbies really help kind of give me something that I know I can do that's not just about taking care of my family. It gives me something to look forward to and you know, like, and be like, well, one day when they're all gone, you know, I love this so I can do this more. But now I think is a good time to kind of try some different things out and see what it is you like. And then as your kids get older, as you find free time, maybe as you're waiting in the car for different activities your kids are at, and then obviously as they get older and leave, you'll have something that you can do in your free time that you enjoy and it doesn't feel so empty because I know we always are like, oh, I would like some time to myself, but then when we actually get it, how many of you are like, I don't know what to do with myself now? I am one of those people, or I was, but here are some hobby choices that you might want to look into. All right, so the first one is sewing. There are so many different things that fall into the sewing category. You could crochet, you can cross stitch, you could knit, you can do like full out sewing, like make clothes, like shirts and pants and skirts. There is a lot here. There's a lot of different sewing type projects that you could learn or, you know, try out and see if you like. Sewing takes quite a bit of work. So if you enjoy it at all, but you're not good at it, don't give up. Keep trying because it's one of those things that's a learned skill over time. But if you find any enjoyment over in that, I would suggest just keep trying. And I hope to do more videos of these, kind of breaking it out more and maybe even showing some examples of things. But right now we're just going over some ideas. All right, another thing you could do, and this is kind of my hobby, is painting or drawing or doing some kind of a craft. Um, again, lots of things fall into crafts. I personally really enjoy painting and it is something that I do sporadically. Uh, there are times when I find that I have more time for it and then months when I don't have any time for it. So it's kind of one of those things that comes and goes, but it is something that I do enjoy doing. I love creating and it's just a lot of fun. So you might want to try your hand at painting or drawing. Drawing is another one that kind of fall in that category. And then there's other crafts that could fall into that category. Um, you could make jewelry. There's just all kinds of things that you can make and create. So maybe think, is there a craft that I enjoy? And a useful hobby is if you find a craft that you like to do, and then you can start making Christmas gifts for people all year long. So not only are you doing a hobby, but you're actually accomplishing something that you need in the long run. And I love hobbies like that, that serve two purposes. All right, so both of those hobbies are more indoor hobbies. What about going outside and gardening? There, this is kind of a new trend that was an old thing, and I don't know, it's kind of coming back, but gardening, and it can be a lot of fun and rewarding to plant something and watch it grow and then harvest it. It's a whole process and it can be very enjoyable, and I highly recommend having a garden Maybe even if you don't love it, just because I think it's really important that we kind of learn to grow our own food. I just, that was something that was kind of a given in the past and now we don't know. 
So it's a nice thing to learn, but you might find that you actually really enjoy it. I have enjoyed gardening so much more than I thought I would, and it has kind of become a hobby of mine, even though I never would have dreamt that I liked to garden. Um, I now do rose bushes and irises and other flowers that you can't necessarily eat, but I do enjoy spending time in my yard, especially during the warmer months. Now, winter time, that's a little harder, but if you want, you could start like little seed seedlings inside during the winter time. So you could make gardening a year round thing. Um, you just have to kind of make space for it inside. All right, guys, I totally realized I was not even holding the mic up. I was holding some other random white like clip thing. So I don't know. Sorry if this sounds a little weird on that last little bit there. I don't know what I was thinking. But that actually brings me to my next hobby. You could do YouTube videos. You could do photography. These are also things, obviously, I really enjoy doing. I like making videos for you guys. I like watching videos, which I don't know if I would really call that a hobby because can you really call watching TV a hobby? I don't know because you're not really creating anything when you're watching, but I do enjoy watching them. But they also help motivate me and know what maybe I should do. I'd be like, oh, you know, that's a good idea. I should do a video about this. Or, you know, you can kind of get ideas from other people or learn things from other people, which is what I hope with this channel is to help motivate people and maybe give them ideas that they didn't have before. Uh, I always find that nice and encouraging when I find videos like that that encourage me to do something new or different. So you can make a YouTube video about something that you love. There's really no one thing you could do here. You could make it about all different kinds of things. You could do photography. I have a camera that I used to actually use a lot anymore. I just use my phone because phones take great pictures these days, but take pictures of nature or of your kids or just anything that inspires you. But you could definitely get into some photography. It's a lot easier than you maybe would think. Now, I mean, obviously there's some photographers out there who do an amazing job and I don't know how they get the, the pictures that they do. They're truly talented and have worked hard at their skill, but it is not as challenging as you would think to start and you can probably get some very pretty photos yourself just by playing around with the camera and going out and trying and just having fun with it. All right, another hobby is Kind of like we touched on a little bit the first, but taking care of your home, decorating, cooking, those can actually be your hobby if they truly bring you enjoyment and it's not, I mean, obviously taking care of your family is just part of kind of being a mom, but maybe you could go the extra mile and you're like, I want to decorate this guest bathroom and do it like this and go big and that's not necessarily like just taking care of your family. That's turned into a hobby because you are just really investing some time and energy in making something beautiful that isn't necessary, I guess. I don't know if that's a good description or not, but decorating could definitely be a hobby and have fun with it. And again, it's one of those twofold because I am sure, even if it's not necessary to have a beautiful guest bathroom, I am sure your family and anyone visiting will appreciate that you have a beautiful guest bathroom. Um, same thing with cooking. You could go all out and create really big dinners, do maybe some kind of a once a month dinner thing and invite people over and create a big, beautiful dinner with a big, beautiful table setting. And that could be your hobby. It's not necessary. Um, you could do something simpler, but I am sure everyone would appreciate the extra effort you put into it. And if that's your thing, you will really enjoy it. You will enjoy cooking the food. You'll enjoy seeing the people enjoy the food and decorating your table. Um, I definitely think hosting could be a hobby and it really benefits other people. So that's a really great thing. All right, and then the last hobby idea I have for you is kind of almost like a side job. Um, you could find some type of a little side hustle that you enjoy. I really enjoy finding vintage and unique clothing, and obviously I can't keep all of the vintage and unique clothing I find, so I resell it. I will find beautiful pieces and maybe they just don't fit me right or I just don't need another skirt that looks like that. So I will post it for sale for someone else to buy and love. 
and this is a really fun hobby, especially if you love to shop. It's basically having shopping as your hobby, but then you're able to cover your costs because you know, you buy it, you sell it, and it covers the cost of purchasing it. So you're not really out any money. You're uh, just kind of cycling through, but I really enjoy this. I also, I loved working retail back before I had children. I loved working and um, setting up the display windows, and I, I worked kind of in the visual marketing side of the store, and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And I just like clothes and so this is a really fun hobby if that's also kind of like you. It's like you have your own little boutique but it doesn't really cost you any money and other people also still benefit from it because you're finding great pieces that they maybe would not have had otherwise so they love the pieces they're getting. You had fun finding them and it's a win-win. It's fun to take the pictures of the items and display them. It can be a fun hobby. Another really great um, kind of a side hobby that you could do that could make you some money. Um, same as the other one, it, you could lose money too, but I mean, that's kind of hobbies. They kind of take some money, but uh, is doing the stock market. Uh, you can get involved in the stock market pretty easily now, like with apps like um, Robinhood and there's several other. I won't list them all because I don't know much about them. Robinhood's the one that I have used in the past and it's very user friendly. And I actually think it's kind of fun to keep up with the stock market and you can put some money in and watch it grow, decide to sell, switch to another stock. It is something that is a lot of fun. It kind of gives you a good idea of what's going on in the world because it's the stock market, you know, really plays off of what's going on around you. And yeah, it's another thing that while it is a hobby, it has potential to actually make you money, which is always a nice extra. So maybe that is your thing. Maybe you're not into crafting, but you love numbers. You could try the stock market. And I just never realized as a stay-at-home mom that I could even do something like that. I thought that was kind of something you had to do through like your work with like your retirement plan and stuff. I had no idea that I could take $100 and just put it in the stock market. And you don't even have to do $100. Honestly, you can do as little as a dollar or two and yeah, it doesn't take much at all. So I would recommend starting out small if that is what you want to do because you don't want to just throw a bunch of money at it. Especially right now, the stock market is very volatile. So if you throw a bunch of money in, there's a good chance it'll all be gone in a week or two. But you know how stocks are. One day it'll go back up. So you just need to go prepared with you know, I'm only gonna use this money and it may disappear, but it may come back. And that's kind of what I do. I have my allotted money that I kind of play with. And if I make money, then I use that with the stock. If I lose money, then I don't invest anymore. Um, and it's just kind of my play. Maybe one day when I really feel like I understand the stocks, I will actually invest more for like actual investment and actually like, you know, long-term investment and actually hopefully make money but I don't feel like I fully understand the stocks yet to do that successfully. So I'm still kind of learning and playing with it as I learn. So I hope you guys found something of interest in there. What are some hobbies that you have that maybe I didn't mention? Is there something that you just love to do? I know some people love to run and exercise. There are so many different things. Share some of your ideas down below. I'm sure we would all benefit from hearing what they are, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.